As I've stated many times, free flow is one of my favorite ways to train. Free flow is unrehearsed but cooperative movement. You'll find us breaking into structural moments where we're reflecting um, our training in Belinda Walk or Matty Arnis, and we'll break out of the patterns that we set. We'll um, freely adapt to the sticks being disarmed and just play. We aren't sparring. We're giving feeds. We don't know what feed our partner's going to give. And while it looks sloppy at times, and it is sloppy at times, we're getting used to entangling limbs and feeling the pressure of our partner and adapting to it and trying not to struggle too much. So you'll see, as we build tension um, and escalate into more of a, of a struggle, we'll stop, slow down, and restart in the flowing uh, manner. However, that moment of struggle has some of the best learning opportunities because we get to uh, adapt to real forward pressure from our opponent and a little bit of a competitive attitude where one of us is uh, trying to score through force, which if we do it all the time, we'll just escalate into sparring which is okay because we spar quite a bit in our classes but this if we keep it to that playful light level we get to experiment with things that we won't normally get to really play with in sparring and then by practicing them here in this kind of flow, we uh, can get them hardwired to the point where we can try to use them in sparring. This limb entanglement and trapping that we're doing is one of the most important things we get out of this, especially when is done with a little bit of competitiveness and some force because when dealing with edged weapons you absolutely must be able to get control of the limbs and get two hands on one at some point two hands on the weapon bearing limb this is paramount for your survival What this type of training does is gets the hands educated to be able to do that, to be able to control the limb enough to get to that position where we have both hands on one. We can also do things like push each other off center line so that all our weapons are facing our training partner and their weapons are facing out. These kinds of things aren't done often in this play because it breaks the play, but we do find those positions. We do take two hands on one and we do disarm. However, the best thing for me that this training brings is creativity. <laughs> 